whether it's a synchronicity or it's deliberate, I'm not really sure, but it is true that Jeff used the language who wants to play a game before in communication with the artificial intelligence virtualization of Elon Musk on Twitter, allegedly. This was made in another telegram in which we were communicating called We Serve for the Pleasure of the President. At the time of my posting, December 21st, 2021, I had responded to him in his posting, stating, so Elon's later tweet about online games was like a response to your who wants to play a game. And that tweet was detailed like so. And at the time, Jeff did a decode using the Gematrix website. This is Elon's tweet at 8.54 a.m. on December 20th, 2021. So on December 19th, Jeff made a post with the following Gematrix phrase decodes. The future, time manipulation, are those that immediately stick out. But then going further down, you get 152.330, read code. A day later, you get game on, which is also 133.330. This was Meta Elon's response to Jeff's Gematrix keyword listing on the 19th. The Gematrix website, game on, 133.330. Corresponding with read code, 152.330. This does not in of itself prove that the operator of the 17 board is a AI virtualization, nor is it proven to be a reference to the game comms of Elon Musk, but it is just something to possibly consider as we dive deep into these mysteries. Interestingly, shall we play a game once more? It does correspond to Buzz Lightyear, showing number 1832 in Jewish Gematria. The new Buzz Lightyear movie by Pixar has been widely panned for being woke, but there were some interesting theory of relativity thought experiences shared with the viewers of that movie. I'll cover it briefly here. So it turns out that four years have gone by, and even though Buzz is a trained space ranger, he needs the concept of relativistic time dilation explained to him. Now, I understand that this was done for the sake of the audience, but I think they could have written it in such a way that it didn't make Buzz look like an idiot. It's like if someone had to explain Fatax Pyramid to a screenwriter. Anyway, Hawthorne tells Buzz she got engaged to another woman. Yeah, she's the lesbian. And she gives him a robot cat named Socks, who's programmed to help him cope psychologically with the time skip. So in that, you can say that there's a thematic relationship through Gematria with the 17 post and the concept of time manipulation or time travel. Um, as I focused on from Jeff's post on the 19th of December, the future and time manipulation. I feel some guilt in that I may be introducing you guys to rabbit holes that will lead nowhere, but I tell you this as this type of information was in the background, and I don't really have the answer concerning the degree of sentience of artificial intelligence currently, or how we may be interacting with other versions of ourselves in adjacent timelines, or if this particular forum utilizes quantum mechanics in its communication style. But Jeff has appeared in my telegram recently, saying, I guess I told you the game has begun. I was going to ask that in a message who wants to play a game, just didn't for some reason. A little short not following that popping in my head. It had to been done this way? The Days of Darkness 966. Shall we play a game 966? I've done this before with Elon, the second comms game. Ask that exact thing. Ask myself. And so that's why I did this video. Anyways, I had fallen behind on what I intended to share, so there's quite a bit more to come. Peace.